In this video, I'll be showing you how to change the air filter in the Honda CRF250L. According to the shop manual, this should be done about every 12,000 miles. To do this, you're only going to need a few basic hand tools. You need a Phillips head screwdriver, a 6mm and a 5mm Allen key, and the replacement filter. I'll include a link in the description below for the official Honda filter. I do recommend the Honda filter because some of the aftermarket filters don't have this foam seal around them. And I don't know if it'd make a difference or not, but the spark arrestor holes look like they wouldn't allow quite the same airflow as the OEM filter. To get started, take the 6mm Allen key and remove these two bolts holding the seat in place. Then lift up on the seat and slide it to the rear to remove it from the front retaining clip. Moving around to the right side of the bike, use the 5mm Allen key to remove the bolt and spacer holding the right body panel in place. It takes a little bit of force to pry the body panel off of the rear retainer and then slide it to the rear to slide it off of the front two clips. Using the Phillips head screwdriver, remove the four Phillips head screws holding on the airbox cover. Then using your fingers, gently pry back the old air filter. As you can see, it was definitely time for me to replace my filter. My bike has about 17,000 miles on it and this is the original filter. When installing the new air filter, make sure the two tabs slide in the correct slots on the back side and then push through two retaining clips in place on the front side of the filter. Reinstall the air box cover with the four Phillips head screws. Slide the right body panel into place and re-secure it with a 5mm bolt and spacer. And finally slide the seat back into place with the retaining clip in the front and re-secure it with the two 6mm bolts and spacers. And that's it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, I would appreciate your support by subscribing to the channel for more DIY content.